Hello, today we're looking at the skeleton and we're going to focus on the joints in the skeleton. As a quick recap, we've done this uh, lesson before, but as a quick recap, the skeleton has different jobs. One is for support, one is for protection. So for example, the brain, heart and lungs are protected by bones in the skeleton. It allows for movement when it works with muscles and some bones produce blood cells. So these are the functions, the main functions of the skeleton. And today we're talking about the function of joints. We're going to look at their structure a little bit as well. So joints are where bones meet each other. They usually allow movement of bones or usually allow movement of limbs, such as your arms and legs. They don't always allow movement though. For example, the skull is made of several different bones that are joined together. The joints in the skull don't allow movement. So no movement of joints in the skull. However, if you look at something like your elbow or your shoulder and lots of other joints in the body, these are built for movement. So these joints allow movement. Allow movement. So we have joints in the elbow, the shoulder, the hip, knee, wrist, fingers, and various other places in the body. So these allow for movement, but we did say they usually allow for movement. So probably just worth making a note they don't allow movement in the skull, so not the joints in the skull. And in fact, if you have injured a joint, there is going to be less or no movement. Or if the joint is damaged as a result of a disease, so that's going to reduce movement as well. Okay, so this is the idea of joints. We're going to focus in on one particular joint in the knee. So the knee is obviously a place where you can bend your leg. And if we were to look at that joint a little bit more closely, it might look a little something like this over here. So there's a rough diagram of the knee joint with all the different parts which we're going to look at. So let's just make a note here. This is the knee joint. And it has structures that are very similar to other parts. Let's just move this part out of the way. That's the kneecap. And if we just move that out of the way, we could see the different parts of the joint. So we're going to label these bits here. So there's a few labels that we need to know the names and the functions of. And there they are. So let's start off with this part here. This is called a ligament. A ligament. And you can see there's two of them, one on each side. Uh, that slightly brownish color is called cartilage. On the other side, we have a little capsule and we have a fluid that's inside that capsule that you can see there. What is the job of the different parts? Well, if we start off with the ligament, ligaments have the job of connecting bones together. So ligaments join or connect bones together. The cartilage, this covers the end of the bone and its job is to one, reduce the friction between the bones as they move, reduces friction, but also acts like a shock absorber, like a shock absorber. And by that we mean it's a bit like a cushion, a bit like a cushion, so it absorbs any kind of uh, force or excessive force that is placed on that joint. The fluid there inside also reduces friction and the capsule underneath that we've labeled, this is the part that contains that fluid. So it kind of covers the joint, but it also contains that fluid that we've mentioned above. The idea of reducing friction is very important because if you have less friction, that means you're gonna have less rubbing of the bones, less rubbing. If the bones are rubbing together less, then there's gonna be less or no damage done to the ends of the bones. So that's why we have fluid there and the cartilage there to reduce the friction. 
So there we have it, the joints in the body, the function of the joints and the structure of a fairly typical joint in the body and what the different parts, what the different parts do. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.